That is my name. I've been doing some research, and I believe I can fill in some of the other gaps in your memory, especially in regard to your father and his mission aboard the Argos. That rings a bell. Wasn't that some kind of expedition? The Argos was a deep space exploration ship sent out to map and study the moons of Saturn. It vanished without a trace. What happened has always been a mystery. Correct, but I think it's a mystery we may be close to solving. You see, the mission was led by Ulysses Carter, and his three sons were also on board. Two of whom were identical twins, one named Kane, the other Nick. Just what are you driving at, Commander? That Blade here was... I mean, is... one of them? That fits, since Star already found out that Saber and Blade are twins. Yes. But it leaves many things unexplained. Like what happened on board the Argos. There's only one person who can answer that. Even if I told you, you wouldn't believe it! I don't. Sick bay here. Patient's comatose state is deepening. Her vital signs are getting very weak. She needs a blood transfusion badly. Then do it! Take mine! Take every drop! Whatever it takes to keep her alive! Shara, don't go. Don't go. If you'll let me, I'd like to help. Thank you. Blade, I think I know how you feel. I know what it's like to be willing to sacrifice anything for someone else. Even your life. I never knew that feeling before, but now... You do? Yeah. Saber. Saber, wake up! I am here, Darkon. The command and I obey. Of course, but I demand more than mere obedience from you. I demand victory. You have been given more than one opportunity to destroy the traitor blade, and yet he still lives. His survival threatens to jeopardize the invasion. He won't escape me again. The other traitor, Shara, must not be allowed to regain her strength. Only you and I know the danger we would face if she and Blade were to join forces. Here is your chance to prevent that. They are at their weakest now, vulnerable in mind and body. Why do you remain here? Now is the time to strike! Go! Shara! Calm down, Blade. The transfusion worked. Her condition's stabilized, okay? Just take it easy. But how come they're wheeling her out? There's nothing to worry about. They're taking her to ICU for observation. Now, come on. We both lost a lot of blood. We need to rest now. Yeah. Yeah, some rest. You're right. Like out of a nightmare. It was our own fault. We opened Pandora's box. If only we hadn't explored that ship. But that's what we were out there to do. Explore. It all began as the Argus was reaching the outer rings of Saturn. There seems to be some kind of cosmic disturbance dead ahead. Mm-hmm. I see. Can you be a bit more specific, Shara? Sorry, Father. I've never seen anything like it. Very well. Most likely it's just some kind of gravity wave. Can you give us a visual, my dear? Yes, sir. Good Lord, that's a gravity wave. You can say that again. But what is it? It appears to be some kind of vessel. 
but obviously not one of ours. Not one of ours? What are you saying? He means it's alien. It's pulling us in with some sort of tractor beam. Okay, reverse course. Emergency procedures. Divert all power to the thrusters. It's too late, Dad. Arr! That ship. It was the Venomoids, of course. A galactic probe. Maybe we could have gotten away. Naturally, we didn't even try. It was Earth's first verifiable contact with an alien life form, after all. Not every day that sort of thing happens. So, of course, we just couldn't let it be. Damage report. Levels B4 through B6 show some rupturing of the hull, but bulkheads are holding and pressure is steady. Engines and power look okay, too. Life support systems are functioning smoothly. Looks like we came through all right, considering. Yes, we were lucky. Shara, any response from the other vessel? No, nothing. No radio contact or signs of activity whatsoever. Deserted? Maybe it's a wandering ghost ship. Or maybe they're just painfully shy. I'm getting readings of life aboard that ship. Definitely organic. Probably mold on some leftover cheese. Yeah, but it's alien mold. True. Shouldn't we wake up Catherine, Conrad, and the others for this? Yes, your brother would never forgive us if they weren't in on it. Shara, wake the rest of the crew from hypersleep while we go make a preliminary search of the ship. Yes, sir. Wow! Wow is right. Real aliens, this is gonna make the Carter family famous. I'd better go first. We don't want them getting the wrong idea about humans. Funny. The poor kid. Sounds like his whole family was on that mission. Tough break. Poor Blade. Stupid. We were so stupid. We were like kids on a field trip. We never dreamed it would turn out to be a nightmare. Amazing! What is this place? Your guess is as good as mine, Nick. Watch out, everyone. Watch your step. Hey, don't touch anything. We have no way of knowing what we're dealing with here. What's happening? Back to the Argos, everyone. Hurry! Run! Run! Dad! No! Run, boys! Stay back! Save yourselves! Not on your life! was it. Before we knew what was happening, it was over. They got Shara and Kane. I don't know what happened to my big brother Conrad and his fiance Catherine. Oh. Oh, Blaine. I'm sorry. <laughs> they transferred us to their ship and destroyed the Argus. Then we found out what the creatures were really up to. They'd been sent by the Venomoids to transform us into tech rock. We were altered physically and emotionally. Our humanity was sucked out and replaced with the soul of a techno man. Blade, besides you and your sister, how many Technomen are there? Five, as far as I know. Well, four, actually, now the dagger's out of the picture. 
two of them we already know about. When do we meet the rest? You mean there's two more of them out there as powerful as Saber? That's a scary notion. Sir, we've just barely managed to hold our own against one of them. What would we do if all four of these Technomen decided to hit us all at once? Ooh, you're right. That would be a headache. We don't have enough place settings. Hmm? How can you joke about it, Ringo? We're talking about the fate of the planet here. Calm down, everybody. Whatever comes, we'll face it together, just like we always have, right? Yes, there's no point in worrying about what might happen. And don't forget, Blade's on our side. There's something I don't understand. Blade, how did you escape in time to avoid the full effects of the techno transformation? It was father. Your father? I don't understand. I thought your father was in one of the technopods himself. Yeah, he was, but he was released before the rest of us. You see, my old man didn't make it. By all rights, he should have been dead when the Technopod rejected him. The father was a tough old bird. There was one thing he wanted to do before he cashed in. He wanted to save the members of his family. But he only had time to save one. get you out in time. Is it you, Nick? Are you still you? I am Blade. Fight them, Nick. You're stronger than they are. You haven't been turned into one of their zombies yet. They need our bodies. They're trying to create a race of warrior slaves. I was rejected. I'm too old and not strong enough to suit their purposes. Now there's no time. You must leave immediately. Father, wait. You don't mean you want me to abandon the others, do you? To just give up on them? There's no choice. You must leave. Now. No, let me stay, Father. You and I can fight them. If you stay, I'll just finish the job they started on you. And as for me, it's too late. The transformation process of theirs sucked me dry before it spit me out. I'm on my last leg, son. Time's up, Nick. If you don't get off this vessel right now, you never will. Father! Don't waste time feeling sorry for me, Nick. My troubles are about to be over. Yours are just beginning. You're going to have a greater responsibility than any man in history. Father, wait! Listen. While they were fiddling with my brain, I learned a great deal about them. They're planning a full-scale invasion of the Earth. The survival of our planet depends on you. Me? But how? By escaping now and getting back home, son. You'll have to fight them, which will mean fighting any members of our family that have survived the transformation process. They won't be human anymore. They'll be aliens. You'll have to forget who they are. Forget that you ever had a family, do you understand? These aliens, the Venomoids, are ruthless and will show no mercy. Those they transform are under their command. Never forget, they're your enemy. No! Father! Goodbye, sir. How can I forget? Conrad! Kane! Sora! It was all gone. Just like that. My family, my life, everything. What is it? Are you crying? Well, what if I am? Star. For me? Who do you think, you big dope? Come on, let's not go getting emotional. It seemed like forever I was stuck in that escape pod, helpless, while the Venomoid plan went forward. I still don't know when or from where Darkon appeared to take charge. It took more than six months for me to reach the Earth, but not him. When I finally arrived, the invasion was already underway.
six months is a long time to be alone with your thoughts. By the time I got here, all I cared about was destroying them, turning the powers they'd given me against them. Nick Carter was gone. Only Technoman Blade remained. Okay, you vampires, it's payback time. The traitor, Blade. We've been waiting for you. No kidding. For me. I don't know how you escaped the techno process, but there'll be no escape this time. I must survive. I will survive. Someone's down here. Or something. He's one of us. You're right. But where'd he come from? And then, well, you know the rest, don't you, Star? We just got the report from the med team. The patient has regained consciousness. Good. Blade, your sister's pulled through. She's away. When can I see her? Right now. Great. Shara. <gasps> Nick, I can't believe it. Believe it, baby sister. It's me, all right. Oh, Nick. You'll be okay. I was so frightened. It was horrible! It's okay, it's okay. You're safe now. You have no idea how much I've been hoping for this, Nick. This is all I wanted, just to see your face again. Just once more, I knew you'd be able to give me the strength I need to face the end. I dreaded the thought of having to face it all alone. Don't be silly. You're gonna be all right, Shara. No, Nick, I'm not. There's nothing you or anyone can do. Nothing. It won't be long before I join Father. Yeah. <laughs>